Welcome back to Epic Alchemy. Today I want to talk to you about a Civivi Spiny Dogfish. This is a Gafco design, designed by Mac Michael Gavok. Uh, probably saying that name wrong, I don't know. Gavok. Gavok sounds better. I was, if uh, Schwarzenegger was playing him in a movie, it'd be Gavok. Okay, the Spiny Dogfish. Man, this thing falls right under eight inches when we line it up properly. Just a second, just a second, just a second. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna say like 7.8 inches, something like that. It's a little over seven and three quarters, uh, like minutely. Knife Center says this thing weighs 3.07 ounces. Let's see if that is correct, and we will try not to screech it this time. It's on my nerves too. Got 3.1, that's close enough, man. I mean, you know, like this is probably fluid ounces anyway, so it's gonna be a little bit off. So yeah, I mean like, we can deal with 3.1. What can I say about the dogfish? I haven't used it yet, so it's just first impressions. But I really, I do. I, like, I, I hate to like keep shilling, but like this is not. I'm not crazy about JG10 personally. Like, I'm, I, I would, I would go for a different model. But it's got 14C28 steel. It's got the reverse tanto. You guys know I was a 940 fanboy from back in the day. We got a compound grind, you know, I like that kind of stuff too. Like the reason why I like it is because I pay people to sharpen my knives. But like you got, well, no, yeah, you got two, I was gonna say you had three, but you have two very distinct grinds. So like this is like a flat grind at the point and then you got a hollow grind here in the middle. I think that's unique. I'm not saying it's gonna be useful, I just think it's unique and I like unique. Uh, another knife that does that, got that. Kaiser Paragon. You do have a third grind back here. You got a third flat. So you got a flat here, a flat at the tip, and a hollow in the middle. And I like that. That's RS Knife Works, by the way. Okay. Before we get in any more depth about the dogfish, if you uh, are not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you uh, like the video, please show us by liking the video. If you don't like the video, thumbs down the video and tell us why in the comments. All of that helps the channel. We appreciate it. I'm, very much need the feedback. Okay, so the, the spiny dogfish is a liner lock. It's very fidgety. Like it, it would be one that would be perfect for me like to, uh, to take the place of that little mini beluga. Like just keep it on the couch. I don't know. I'm not gonna be, I, I don't have enough handle here to flip from the front. I could probably make it happen, but like, no, let's not. Okay, like, yeah, so like, there's, it's gonna be like a reverse flip only for me. There's no flipper. Am I right about that? Yeah, okay, no flipper. You got the recessed pocket, or pocket clip screws, which a lot of people are gonna appreciate. Man, it's gonna ride nicely in the pocket. Almost about as deep as you can get, right? The handle is very ergonomic. I do prefer knives with bigger handles, like, uh, this is the dire wear. I love the way the thing fills up my hand, and I, I, you know, and it's got a compound grind as well. And I, I do enjoy the, you know, like the way I feel like I've got um, more control over a knife when when there's more handle, you know, in my hand. So I do I do very much enjoy that. But on the flip side of that is this knife. Like I don't know, man. It finds a way. It finds its way into into the your your uh, in, in between the crevices of your fingers and stuff. And I'm sorry, oh, calloused hands and stuff. You have to still have a job to do. Okay, man, got a, like extremely thin blade stock. It's like point one one inches. Like I said, we're stainless steel liner locks. Is it milled out? Let's check that out. It's milled out on the non-locking side, on the show side, for weight relief, which we've already went over the weight. It's got a nice sharpening choil slash finger choil. You can you can actually choke up on it, and it feels really good too. And choke up on it like it's there's nothing wrong with the way this knife handles. It reminds me almost of a smock in a way and i hate to say that because i know there's gonna be like uh, no, i'm not comparing i'm not i'm not i'm not saying it compares to a smock in every way i'm just saying like it, it feels like a smock in my hand in a way it feels better than the smock but when you choke up you got that 
same real estate of blade to work with. Smoky may just have a tiny, a tiny bit less. But man, I, like I, I, I doubt it's going to be an extreme slicer of fruit. You know, I'm, I'm a savage. I eat an apple with my my teeth. But uh, like I, I would, I would imagine it would it would be under the same curses as even say the the 940 when you're cutting up a, a, an apple, it probably just break instead of slice through it neatly. Um, I may be wrong about that. We, you know, it'd be be interesting to check that out. I might pick up some vegetables and take this knife to the kitchen for a video just to see how things work out. But I, I would I would say that it, it gets thick quickly. You know, it's thin behind the edge in the hollow. But I, I would, I would venture to say that it gets thick quickly, or thicker quickly. It does, you know, it does remain thin at the top of the blade stock, so it's not like it's like having to move down from three sixteenths to to that nice fine hollow grind all at once. But like, you know, because it's nowhere near three sixteenths. But it's, I feel like it's still struggle with. Uh, Thinly slicing precision cucumbers, you know, <laughs> or something, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I don't cut up vegetables. If I do, I do it with a kitchen knife. So, um, what else we got to say about it? I did mention that it was, uh, okay, so it's like 4.3 inches uh, when it's shut. It's a, just a little bit over 4.3 inches when it's shut. In case that matters to you. What about your uh, blade length? So you're gonna have three inches of cutting length or, or of, of cutting edge and about three and a half inches of blade length. And so like if we stop it right there at the at the the furthest tip of the scale. That's about it, man. About it. I don't think there's until I get some until I get some uh use on you know, with the knife, I, I don't think there's much use in just like going on about it but I do like it I like the way it fits in hand love the way love the action the action's great like I said I probably would you know like go after a, a different scale set you know like my choose something in my car or even G10 would be cool with me I might see what the options are flow through design I do prefer that I know a lot of people don't I like the, I like the flow through design easier to clean that's my opinion it's like booty hoes, everybody's got one. Remember, to, man, like to, the message of the day is popularity doesn't make you right. All of our presidents have been popular. Not all of them have been right. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the flip side.